Hey guys, Viggoman here and welcome back to Thornsbury once again. I hope you guys are doing great. Look at the Alder. <laughs> oh, there's so many cool animations in this game and the Owl is definitely one of the better ones. I'm sitting here like nodding my head, kind of mimicking him. <laughs> uh, but yeah guys, welcome back to Thornsbury. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. I'm gonna be spending 20 minutes here looking at the Owl. No, I'm not. I'm gonna be working on where we kind of left off last episode. Hope you guys don't mind. And we are going to be working on this thing right here. Uh, and uh, first thing, what I want to do is just to bring the path maybe all the way over to here. Uh, so we kind of got that uh, going for us. Uh, and I should, let me see here, brush sphere. Um, 35, I think it is 12. And let's see two to be sure and then uh, brush mask that to 12 which is sand yes all right so uh, we're just gonna kind of make our way towards the, the palace here and it's probably going to be quite open here so we can have a little bit of a market area but it's gonna be houses here so uh, I think I'm gonna leave that. Yeah, let's uh, let's say something like that, uh, which is gonna be the path leading over there, and then I think I need to make it. Let's remove a couple of blocks here, make it a little bit more like flat and open in front of this. We'll do um, something like that, and then bring path over like so doesn't that look all right yeah I think that's gonna work uh, maybe a little bit there but yeah you get the drill and, and then we just do a, a simple little world edit action here just copy uh, or mark the area and then we will take this one and do this so guys if you are enjoying this series don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't uh, it really means the world to me if you do that now let's see six two six seven five four fourteen oh nine ten and voila we did it very cool there's gonna be a couple of grass patches here but we'll fix that as we kind of go because uh, one thing I've seen guys is that about 50% a little bit less like 48.9 I think <laughs> uh, of the people that are watching my stuff is not subscribed and if that is you shame on you guys um, so uh, we, like that kind of tells me that there's a lot of people watching my stuff that just haven't press the subscribe button uh, but when there's so many of you that are watching like regularly it means that you probably enjoy the stuff I'm putting out there so if you're not sure if you have subscribed make sure to check uh, and um, yeah and, and let me know if you do because uh, I'm gonna thank you personally if you do subscribe but yeah guys uh, whoa what was that it was whoa <laughs> epilepsy um, so we got that and yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. We're going to bring out, I think, we're going to make this one and then bring this up, like so. So we get a little overhang. Uh, and there's going to be a shop here, so let's make that colorful to, um, yeah, let, let's do that. Let's find a nice, uh, where are those? I think they're here, yeah. So, uh, we're going for green for this one, if I remember correctly, don't we? Yeah. So, let's go for a green, and then we just... Let me see here. Do that, and then... Fill that up, like so. And then I think... We're gonna find a nice green, like this. And the color... Okay, it's not too good. Let's see if we find another one with a better color. Maybe... Whoops. Yeah, that's more closely. Uh, and then we do that again. And then we have a nice little thing in front of the entrance here. I kind of like that. So we do... Do that and that and voila! Yeah, I think that works. I think that works. 
and then th this is going to be like the store or the shop idea and maybe we can open it up to uh, a little bit of a cave storage system uh, the other building is kind of coming here uh, but yeah we, we can look into that when we get there and kind of see how much time we have for this episode what we're going to start off with is to do the ceiling here I think I'm going to go for uh, this block as the floor from up here which is going to go straight no okay um might have to adjust this actually it's probably better even though if it's there thinking about the staircase coming up so let's move that down which is going to be the platform in the back here uh it's going to be like a little garden and an area where they can maybe grow some crops and that aligns this perfectly so then we're gonna, uh, I think I'm gonna use the same texture because I really like it as like the, the vaulted thing here. Uh, since we're having stone up above, we should probably make this a vaulted ceiling. So we'll do something like that. And either, let me see here. Let's do stairs, perhaps. So we do that, and then we do yeah. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good um, vaulted ceiling here, uh, and then maybe for the sake of detail, maybe we make the bottom one just like. Something like that. It kind of works with the style we got here. A little bit of an Egyptian vibe to it. Or like desert kind of vibe. And I'm not really sure what this guy should be selling. But um, <laughs> that's something I should probably have thought about before. But uh, this episode is kind of spontaneous. Um, just got home from the gym and have to record a little bit before my dinner is done. So... And uh, let's see, maybe this guy, let me see, what is the other guy selling here? Um, this is like a general store. Yeah. Um, you know what, let's just find something in here that we can be selling. Maybe like this kind of, I'm not sure what to call that, but um, like the... The scale and abacus, sectant, and those kind of travel bits that you probably use for traveling in merchants and stuff like that. Like, um, yeah, a shop for merchants and stuff they might need to travel the world and, and stuff like that. So uh, let's see if we can make that work. So um, we'll do um, a compass could be nice. Maybe a scale. I don't know. Like that, and then maybe hmm, something like that with a bookcase on top. Just a little bit like that, and we'll add a little chest right there, and kind of try to to really to really make this uh, very densely built, if you know what I mean, like. Um, can I do that? Yeah, I think so. And that means I probably can have a chain coming from there. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and then I need to just connect that somehow. But we'll do that with a stir. Looking at it, I think we could actually make all of these stairs. Yeah. And maybe... <laughs> not trying to go too much into the details here, but what if I do that? Yeah. So, we got that, and then we do... Um, just trying to fill up the stuff here, you know? Uh, I don't think it's always super important that when you build let's say a shop like we're doing now i don't think it's the most important thing that you know exactly what you're selling i think it's more important that you 
uh, give your um, like the viewers, you guys, um, an imagination when when they come here, when you come here, looking at what I've built. Uh, I want you guys to kind of try to imagine what is it's selling here. You know, I don't think it's uh, that important that I have planned out every single bit um, on forehand. You know, like. This guy is selling all of this stuff for that price and and that I think it's more important that it just looks like a store and, and you can maybe come in here and try to figure out what what is this guy really selling me you know um, as a part of uh, an ad adventure map or stuff like that you know uh, it's not always in games that they sell one thing in particular very often they're like selling different kind of stuff but maybe they're kind of um, focusing on one thing, you know, so maybe this guy is focusing on selling stuff for merchants that are traveling the world and things like that, you know, just trying to make a little bit of a lore to that. All right, so it's getting very cramped, but I like that, really like the way it's taking shape here. We'll do a little cupboard like that, and we need some light in here. Uh, can I do that? Is that enough light? I think it might be and there would be a lot of natural light from the windows and from the outside due to the desert area that we're in and then just to kind of bring that kind of Arabic desert vibe some colorful textiles it's always a nice addition I think so yeah I like that and in the back here let's do a little bit of um, storage room and that will be yay big <laughs> like this and then let me see here and then we'll take the same block we used here and create a simple little uh, arch to support the patio above uh, and then I think we can go for like a combination of rock and gravel or stone and gravel like that and, and then we do um, maybe just like like this and then bring that across and then maybe a little um, shelf like so with a couple of stuff you know <laughs> uh, just placing down stuff it works yeah I think this works maybe you should put something there just like a little barrel or bucket like that um, yeah that is cool all right and uh, maybe we should also put some kind of sign telling people what is being sold right here so what if I take this and then bring this out like so and then we take like this and like that and then we find something that can indicate what we're doing uh, I think a globe would probably be the best uh, but is there anything else Compass, no, or maybe nah. Um, and not coins. I know there are coins in here, but that would probably like be a bank or something, like the gold coin. Um, let's say the globe. I think that would work. And we can turn it upside down so it's hang. Oh, that actually <laughs> lines up perfectly. So it's hanging from that. Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? Alright, so we got that. Uh, I think um, I'm going to want to do a little bit of a planter on the outside here. So I'm going to run over to... You know what, let's just take that. Take some of these plants we got here. I'm trying to, uh, to give it some integrity. Uh, and uh, using more or less the same the same like plants around this whole place 
It's something I actually learned if, while playing Planet Coaster. Um, that if you could try to pick just a few plants uh, in your like what you're working with and, and stick to them, uh, your end result is going to turn out a lot better because uh, there's some structural integrity throughout the whole area. Uh, actually, yeah, let's let's use grass. Why not? Um, Doing a little bit of that. So it kind of gives you, uh, again, structural integrity where everything, it, it, it kind of fits because um, you have the same plants over here as you have over here, which makes um, both of the plants seem realistic in a way. And they're kind of working uh, together to make the whole um, place come alive a little bit more, I think. Uh, let's do... We like that, maybe just like small things to, to make it pop a little bit. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then I think what we're gonna do, we have a couple of minutes before I want to leave you guys, is to bring up the big guns <laughs> and make the staircase which leads up to the back here to this patio in the back, which is gonna lead into the main residence. Uh, there's gonna be another house here. Uh, and I think I'm going to lead this into the caves and have a couple of houses inside the mountain walls as well. That's something we have been talking quite a bit about uh, during the whole like um, project here. That uh, a lot of you guys seem to want that and I kind of do myself. So I think that would be a nice way of just adding a little bit from both you and me and you know bring you guys with me. Uh, I was never really sure about about the caves because it would take a lot more time and, and I feel like uh, I don't want to spend too much time on Thornsbury it's just like a little side project but uh, I do start to really enjoy where this project is going with um, the whole shape of it the whole vibe that we have been able to create here over almost a year and I think it's over a year oh man <laughs> for a very long time though since we started this and i think we've created a unique and very interesting style and vibe and in i think it would be a shame to not fully fully utilize what we kind of have here is there a stair here no so i'm not going to use that so i'm just going to be this this kind of stair uh, which is going to lead up there's going to be another building all the way up here so it's just going to be a very narrow little street thing uh, and i like narrow bits especially here uh, I think we're gonna do a little bit of a farm or farmland out here what is that dirt with log border yeah let's go with that and, and do like something that's too much yeah yeah I can live with that and, and then maybe they're growing cabbage why not why not and then just a little bit here and there trying to make them a little bit different growth stages and then the rest is going to be i think like dry dead bush thing yeah i think that's cool I like that and then we do a little bit of that and I don't know should we have some kind of ladder going up to nah that's a private balcony thing yeah um, but maybe we're gonna do an overhang because no, we need some light in there we won't be able to completely shadow or cover this up because we need some light for the things to grow here so we're going to leave it like that and then just add uh, a little bit of a seating area like so and uh, maybe just a couple of barrels and things you know to fill up this space so we'll do that uh, i'm gonna do the same design bit over here maybe we'll add a little window just for the looks of it in the back here oh <laughs> uh, 
That's kind of weird. But I feel like we need a little window. Um, what if we do... That's going to be the last thing we do for today's episode. Because we're running out of time. But what if we do... I know it might be a little crazy, but... Honestly, that is a really cool feature. I think I'm going to stay, stay with that. I like that. Uh, and then... Yeah. I think we're good for today's episode, guys. It's been fun. It's been... Uh, Enjoyable doing some interiors on cam for once. It's been uh, probably way too long. So I hope you guys enjoy that kind of in-depth interior building. Uh, and this building here is just really taking shape. I really like it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman, and I'm out.